Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today I'm going to be reviewing Discolored. Discolored is developed and published by Good Bay Games, LLC, and it comes out on June 18th of 2021 for $9.99 on Xbox. Alright, so what is Discolored? Well, it is a little uh, puzzle game set in a, uh, in a little town that's uh, got no people in it, and you need to figure out how to recolor the town itself, or the... I don't know that it's a town so much, but it's just a small little place. Uh, it's basically got a little uh, uh, diner and then a couple things around the diner. And you have to figure out how to light the the world back up, essentially. So uh, the three colors, red, uh, blue, and green, have been turned off, essentially. And you have to figure out how to unturn them off. Hence the name Discolored. Alright, so through the game you're gonna have to solve puzzles and utilize the environment and things of that nature around you in order to figure out what you need to do next and how to progress through the game itself uh, as you progress you will get achievements and you will kind of it's not too difficult to see what you kind of need to do as the things that you need to interact with are gonna be stuff that will highlight when you look at them and you're just gonna be combining items and figuring and uh, utilizing different things in order to find the uh, prisms that you need to find uh, in order to turn the colors back on. Uh, this game is very well made. Uh, it's definitely a fun little puzzle game. Um, if you play it with a guide, it'll probably take you tw 25 to 30 minutes, and we'll have a guide here on our channel if you want to do that. But I d highly recommend playing this naturally, which will take you probably about one and a half to two hours, I'm guessing, based on the puzzles not being too difficult, but again, there's a lot of stuff that you can kind of look around at and even though the game isn't very big, it has got stuff to look to look at. Um, with the with the length of the game being about two hours, which is what the developer actually expects for you to play, um, I feel like that's probably a little short for what I was hoping when it comes to the quality of this game because it is well put together. And I feel like at the end, it sort of just kind of gets. It's almost like it's a little bit too simple uh, to complete. Um, however, the aesthetic of the game is very nice, and the music and stuff in the game is also really well done. Um, I just wish it was a little bit longer, but overall the game is a very enjoyable experience uh, all the way through. Um, for the price point of $9.99, uh, just if it was a little bit longer, I think that would be a lot, a lot more fair. So I'd probably wait for this to go on sale just because it's a little overpriced based on the length of the game. But again, if you like these types of puzzle games, you won't really feel gypped at $10. But again, I would probably would have wanted to pay 5 or 7 in that range. Um, there's not a whole lot more I can say without spoiling it uh, because of the, you know, the nature of the game. But uh, the, like I said, the puzzles are pretty simple. and But it, they're entertaining enough that you're not going to feel like they're too easy. Uh, with that said, the achievements uh, are very straightforward as well. There are... There are a, potentially the possibility of missing one or two of them as you progress through the game, but uh, again, that's not even that big of an issue because this is a very straightforward game. And if you if you do save kind of regularly while you're playing, then you can go back and get those miscellaneous ones later on. Um, with that said, it's, it's a pretty good little game, and the achievements will take you about 30 minutes if you use our walkthrough, and uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. So. If you do pick it up, let us know in the comments what you think about it, and have a nice day.